Hello everyone, I'm Eleni Kunalakis and I'm your Lieutenant Governor and I'm here today to talk about extreme weather and the emergencies that can come with it and five things that you and your family can do to be ready. Number one, think about people who need a little extra help. It might be a neighbor who's a little older, a friend who's got a lot of pets, or really anyone who needs help getting around. Number two, get your home ready in case you need to hunker down. Stock up on water, that means several gallons per person for both drinking and washing in case the water goes out. And of course, it's also really important to have some canned food and other kinds of foods in case you can't get to the grocery store. And then third, it is really important to have these essential emergency items like flashlights, portable chargers, and make sure those chargers are all charged up and ready to go. Maybe have some important medicine and first aid supplies that you have on hand. And also remember, if you're asked to leave by local emergency response, please leave and do it quickly. It's critical. Number four, make a plan for connecting with your loved ones. Have an emergency contact sheet on hand in case your phone dies and you have to use someone else's. Also, make sure that everyone in your household knows where to meet up if you get separated. And now, probably most importantly, our number one tip. Tip number five, sign up for alerts. It's fast and easy, and you can see the sign-up link on your screen now. Also, follow your local police, fire department, and other officials on social media. That way you can look right at your phone and see what's happening in your neighborhood all the time. 